P be a plane in R3 with that equation the origin is not in P because if you plug in 0 0 0 for X Y Z you get 0 equal 4 that's a false statement so this plane does not include the origin it doesn't go through the origin it says find two vectors in P and check that their sum is not in P so the point of this question is to show you that if we have a vector in R3 or a plane that does not contain the origin it does not it's not a subspace the reason it's not a subspace simply because it violates both conditions uh, to be a subspace it's not closed under scalar multiplication and it's not closed under addition and the reason being simply if you take any vector in a plane that doesn't go through 0 0 0 and you multiply it uh, by uh, uh, by a, a by a scalar 0 you would get 0 0 0 and since 0 0 0 is not there uh, so that means it's not closed under scalar multiplication so uh, let's go ahead and show that so this is sort of a counter example to show that if 0 0 0 is not in the plane uh, then uh, it's not it, it doesn't adhere to the uh, uh, to being closed under addition uh, and uh, we can easily take uh, you know take uh, random points that work uh, I would take the x-intercept if y and z are zero I would get a point so I would get or I would get a vector um, uh, 0 0 um, 0 0 negative 2 right because if I plug it in there it works 0 0 negative 2 and then I would pick another one uh, probably pick uh, the uh, y uh, x and z are zero so I get uh, zero four zero the y would be four so zero four zero lies uh, sorry zero four zero okay well let me add them up so if this is a and this is B let me add them up so if I add them up a plus B I get 0 4 minus 2 okay let's check if that's in the plane well is x plus y so x is 0 plus y plus 4 uh, minus 2 z minus 2 times minus 2 what does that equal to 4 plus 4 is 8 that does not equal 4 therefore the sum a plus b is not in b in p and that shows that uh, it, it can be a subspace because it doesn't include zero 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 that doesn't